Hey gamers, how are you today? So, today it's the last update for the Yak Panther uh, for Flames of War. This is the box of the model, you already know it. Uh, because uh, I've finished it. The, um, the tank and also the building, as you can see, both. Uh, I'll show you the details right now. I'm holding the camera, so sorry if it's a little bit checky. Um, as you can see, I've um, painted the tool on the side. The the red one, the the I don't know wire clippers or I don't know what you you call them in English. Uh, I think it's they they made to to cut on, on wire and cables. <coughs> uh, I put it in red because I don't really know the color uh, at the time, but I know that there is some now. It's normally used. Uh, or with with red red color, and uh, to make it some variety uh, on the tank, I decided to put some some red on it. Um, as well, uh, the number one zero three. It's actually my birthday, tenth of March. So yeah, that's it. Uh, you can see the the German cross on the side. And then um, let me rotate it a little bit for the front part. I added a, a, a cross at, as well at the front because I saw some uh, pictures of of this tank, the real one, and uh, I saw that sometimes they had on at the front as well. It's not on the box of this model, but uh, yeah, I had spares one, so I decided to put one at, at the front as well. Which looks good, I believe. Next, um, I put some um, dark at the front as well to make it look. This tank has been in, in battle a few times already. Uh, as I as I told you, uh, I did some damage on the side, so so yeah, it's be, it's been in the battle for a few times already. And uh, if I can zoom in a bit. Yeah, this side you can see the the other tools painted. Uh, it's the whole tank is quite dirty and stuff because I've um, weathered it a little bit, a little bit. No, yeah. Some I used pigment from Vallejo. I'll show you later if I remember. Uh, more on on the back here because the all the the fumes and the, the engines and stuff. So that's, I believe, will be the the most dirty. Um, then uh, this, let me show you on the top. Also did some, um, put some pigments here on top of the hole because I guess they will be walking on it, so it will be that clean. But. Uh, Overall, that's that's the tank. Yeah, can show you some of the side. Quite dirty as well. As you can see, the skirt side uh, armor. I I use some pigment on half of it, the lower half, so that it looks um, like mud or dirt on the side as well. Not the whole cannot hold it and, and show you as well but only the the half part the lower part uh, of the the armors side armor put some um, pigment or even paint if you don't have pigments to make it look like uh, you know the the tracks have been rolling around and gathering some dust and mud and whatever and as well on the front on the under Part and then on the front and uh, on this side, as you can see, the battle damage on this side of the armor. Um, what you see is not actually the real metal that of the the, the kit is. It's painted. It's a gun. I think it, I used gun metal. And uh, see, it's bent on the on the rear part and these. Like if the paint was chipped off, 
and here as well you can see it better I use the, the common technique when you, you take some uh, um, the foam from the package inside you use some uh, dark grey and you paint a little bit a little spots everywhere and then on the biggest spots you put some uh, metallic part metallic paint uh, yeah so I use some MIG wash washes and Bayero pigments to to make all this weathering effect the pilots well it's not pilots the drivers it's quite heavy actually um, it's not easy to paint when you use a stand or uh, I normally use a all paint pot or actually for this one I use a, a cork and uh, because the tank is heavy it's, it's not easy to, to hold on it but uh, well I managed to do the camo I've been looking out uh, on the internet and I've seen a lot of uh, different styles uh, I saw one which was only uh, well yellow and green let's call it like that uh, and I liked it I wanted to at first to add as well um, brown but my stug tanks are already have this pattern of uh, camo so I decided to to make it a little bit different so that's what came out I use an um, airbrush to, to make it, if you want to know. Airbrush uh, for the camo and paintbrush for the details and the, the drivers. So that's for the tank. Let's put it on the side. Of course, I've coated um, some uh, Vallejo. So it's not the gloss one, it's the matte varnish. Um, on top of the tank and as well on the building. So the building actually was made uh, already a few days ago because it was the first one I did uh, before I actually put the the other videos. But anyway, I'm showing you everything at the same time. Uh, so I painted the inside. I, I painted totally different from the the box or the website. I decided with a different color scheme. The inside of the house is um, pale yellow. I use yellow and um, bone meal if you're using uh, Game Moose Workshops uh, colors or for the yellow it's pale, pale sand and a little bit of yellow to to make this kind of color this type this yeah this color and from the other side I use a green and I don't remember exactly right now which one is what it was but I think it was medium olive and um, if I'm not mistaken uh, green green gray or something like that uh, which I don't find it but um, yeah I believe it was that green gray this one uh, not sure but anyway I used the uh, a green that I lighten with a little bit of light color. <coughs> uh, then uh, of course a wash on, on it and I use as well the yellow pigments. Let me show you the pigments. That's the, the dark brown. I use the from the inside on I use this one, the yellow one uh, for the, the inside and then I use some brown to make those spot stains um, over here, here and there uh, that's what I used I also have uh, this one but I only used for the for the tank on some rust uh, areas anyway back to the to the, the building um, it turned out pretty well I believe uh, it looks pretty good as you can see, uh, it needs to be dirty and, and destroyed because it's a ruin. ruin, ruin. It's uh, <laughs> uh, 
at our house who's been destroyed already so you cannot leave it uh, with clean um, walls or, or anything because it's already been blown up and got some fire on it or, yeah you can see the the, um, the bricks don't forget to paint the bricks inside the different color because they are not painted they they should be red or orange like this so yeah that's the inside Sorry there, I had uh, to change my uh, memory card, I think uh, it was full, so I don't know where it stopped, um, but I believe you. we were still looking at the, um, uh, the inside of the building, and I was saying that uh, if you're painting it, don't forget to paint the inside part of the, the wall, um, like this, in uh, brick color, so red or orange, because... Uh, it's destroyed, so you see the inside of the wall, and it's not painted normally, like the, the the wall. And of course, don't forget to paint the debris inside. Some bricks scattered around. Don't paint all of them. Leave some uh, dark, because you don't know if it's all bricks or wood and stuff. So I paint some brown, as you can see here, inside, and some. Uh, uh, orange brick color and I left the other ones uh, dark because it's not it's it should be it's not clean you know it's uh, destroyed so if you want to get this effect don't get it uh, patterned to um, regular it needs to be mixed so that's it I'm really happy with the and result, let put, let's put them together to see what what they look like. There we go. Uh, let's see. Get some cover. That's how they. It looks on the box. Actually, it's from the side like this, more or less. See. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and yeah I think it was GB who, who said uh, in a previous video he didn't even notice that you can put your tank this way and that there is a space here for you, the gun barrel to stick out and fire to the, to the enemy while being concealed like this so yeah that's that's what happened here <laughs> so well that's it for the um, the try to say it again the yak yak painter tank um, took me um, a few days to paint to to paint and bu build and paint I think the, the yeah a week let's say a week I don't I didn't really count how many days I took but not not that much easy build and easy paint uh, at least the yeah the, the the building took me one one night uh, only <coughs> a few hours to paint it uh, and it was really good so well that's it that's what you get with the um, Yak Painter from Flames of War box set and it's pretty good pretty nice model to paint and that's it for me. So okay, so I hope you liked it. Um, please like this video, put in your favorite videos and subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. And uh, well, I'll get started on a new products really soon so and continue the one I already started. So yeah, so basically that's it for me for this video. I hope you like it. And I see you on my next videos.